What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the DC edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things that matter to me in the DC Cinematic Universe. And in this episode, we are going to talk about an update for the production of Wonder Woman and also The Suicide Squad, which is filming right now in Toronto. But first, let's talk about a major update with Wonder Woman. Well, Wonder Woman is something that a lot of fans are looking forward to because not only is she a strong female superhero, but she's also part of the Justice League. And there's a lot of story that revolves around her character. And one of the interesting things about her story is the love interest, a human love interest, which is currently going through casting. And originally we thought that um, Scott Eastwood, the actor who plays a role in Suicide Squad would be playing Steve Trevor. Steve Trevor is the love interest for Wonder Woman, but it turns out it's not Scott Eastwood. As a matter of fact, Scott Eastwood's character that is filming right now in Suicide Squad is apparently just a supporting role that appears only in Suicide Squad. So who's going to be playing Steve Trevor in Wonder Woman? Well, turns out that Chris Pine is in talks to play Steve Trevor. Well, that's pretty cool. I like Chris Pine as an actor, and he kind of looks the part. You know, he, he looks the part of, I, I don't just mean like the Steve Trevor part, but he looks like that he could have good chemistry with Wonder Woman. All right. Now, that is very exciting because Steve, I mean, Chris Pine is actually a, you know, he's a pretty big actor. And I like a lot of the work that he's been in, and I like his performance in a lot of those movies. So I think that Chris Pine is a really good choice. And we're talking about, like, a-list actor. I mean, I, I don't know if everybody will agree with me that, that he, he would be an A-list actor, but he's right up there. He's a very popular actor. Uh, he's got a lot of fans, and I think that bringing him into the mix, into the DC mix, that will really stir things up a bit. So um, I'm looking forward to, to him being Steve Trevor in Wonder Woman. That'll be really, really cool. All right. So let's talk about Suicide Squad, which is filming right now. And we're going to first start off by talking about these weird-looking mutated soldiers I mean what is this I mean they look like they got bubbles everywhere sticking out of their face and like it looks like their entire body and it kind of gives me the chills when I look at it <laughs> but anyways they're these weird soldiers like alien soldiers or something and it looks like the, the Suicide Squad is we're finally seeing the Suicide Squad go in go into the to take a turn for the for the weird I mean, it already started getting weird with Killer Croc being there. And, you know, that's supposed to happen because it happened in the comic books. But now we're seeing, like, these weird mutated soldiers. What is that all about? Like, because something like that never existed in the comics, as far as I know. But if I were to, uh, you know, take a stab at this, I think that Enchantress put a, put a spell on some of the soldiers or something. And then made them, like, go like that. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but it makes me curious. Okay, another thing we got to talk about is Joker, specifically Joker's new ride. Okay, now in the uh, films that we've ever seen the Joker in, he's never actually had like a like a really badass vehicle that he drives. Well, you know what? We've been seeing a lot of photos of the Joker in action. And well, now we're seeing his ride and check it out. It's this metallic pink I don't even know what kind of car it is, but it looks sick. It looks really, really nice. I really don't know what that car is, okay? But it's some kind of supercar, like some kind of exotic, um, and uh, he's got ground effects, and it looks really, really cool. Now, here's the thing. If they're going to be having a nice car like that, like, you know, a, a fast car, it's got to be used for a car chase. Well, who's going to be chasing the Joker in, who's driving a fast car? Obviously, Batman. Batman, you know, was hinted to be in this. Suicide Squad is part of the Batman universe created by Bob Kane. So you cannot have a Suicide Squad film without having Batman in it. And it turns out that Ben Affleck is truly in Suicide Squad. And he's going to be doing a little bit of battle with the Joker. And it comes in the form of a car chase. After all, we did see the... Um, we did see the Batmobile on set, or rather on location. So if we're going to see the Batmobile on location on the Suicide Squad, and we see this fast car driven by Joker, there's going to be a car chase, and it turns out there is, in fact, a car chase. 
okay? And a car chase gets a little bit crazy, okay? Because it starts out as a car chase, and then we have a scene where Batman actually lands on top of Joker's vehicle. And inside this vehicle is not just Joker, but also Harlequin. Harlequin's going for a ride with Joker, and Batman's trying to chase down this vehicle, which the Joker is driving. Now, that's not all the vehicular uh, craziness that's going on, because there's a scene where Margot Robbie, as Harlequin, I mean, well, she's not in her Harlequin gear, but she's, she's the regular you know, version of herself, okay? Uh, she's riding a motorcycle, and she's doing some motorcycle stunts. So it looks like we're going to get our fair share of, uh, of vehicle stunt work, like car chases from like with, a, you know, with car chases and also a motorcycle chase. We're going to get all that in the Suicide Squad. It's very, very exciting. Now, when I was looking at these photos, I was thinking to myself, like, so we're really going to get like, is that the Joker or is that like Jared Leto and, and uh, Ben Affleck driving these cars? It turns out it's not. It turns out a stunt driver who is wearing the Batman costume and also another stunt driver who's dressed up like a Joker. And then we have a stunt man when it comes to um, uh, Batman being on top of Joker's car. So Ben Affleck isn't really needed for these scenes. I mean, for the close-up shots, we'll probably get Ben Affleck going like, ur, 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 like grunting and all that stuff. So you see his face. But besides that, it will be performed by stunt performers. All right. Which is actually a good thing because that just means that they're going to be performing some stunts that the actors won't be able to do. Uh, which essentially means that the stunts are going to be pretty intense. So I'm really, really excited about this. Now, I do apologize that this stuff is spoilerific, but when I see this stuff show up on my news feed, like, it's exciting to me, and I got to share it with you guys. So uh, so if you want to see more, by the way, I'm going to be posting these photos, all the photos for, for this, uh, this little sequence in the Rage Nation Facebook page. It, uh, there's a full album dedicated to the filming. You can check that out. You can comment on them. You can share the album with your friends. And then uh, you can, um, you know, you can um, click like if you want to. Anyways, check it out. It's on the Rage Nation Facebook page and you can see all the craziness that's been going on on the filming of the suicide set <laughs> in Toronto. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. That's all I gotta say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Based off of their classic fairy tales, do well. But other pieces of, of, of um, I guess, uh, other 